In this video, I'll introduce an excellent indicator that helps you identify the market trend and measure its strength. To start using this indicator, head over to TradingView, select any trading asset on any time frame, and then click on Indicators. Search for Trend Strength Signals, and you'll find the one created by Algo Alpha. The Trend Strength Signals indicator from Algo Alpha is a highly adaptable tool that enhances your trading by offering clear visual signals and customizable options to detect trends and gauge their strength. Let's break down how this indicator works. Firstly, the indicator consists of a trending cloud across your chart. This cloud serves as a tracker for the market trend. When the price is above the cloud, it signifies a bullish trend. Conversely, if the price is below the cloud, it indicates a bearish trend. If a candle closes within the cloud, it signifies a non-trending or consolidating market where you should avoid entering any trades. Additionally, the bar colors on the chart change according to the market trend. Green bars indicate an upward trend, red bars reflect a downtrend, and white bars represent neutral or consolidating market conditions. These colors make it easier to recognize the market's direction. The green and red arrows on the chart represent transitions between bullish and bearish trends. A green arrow appears when the market shifts from bearish to bullish, while a red arrow shows the transition from bullish to bearish. These arrows can also serve as buy and sell signals, meaning you might consider entering long positions when a green arrow appears and short positions when a red arrow shows up. Now let's talk about the green and red X labels you'll see on the chart. These serve as take profit signals. For instance, if you enter a long position, you would want to close your trade at the point marked with a green X. Similarly for a short position, exit your trade at the red X label. Moving to the right of the chart, you'll notice a vertical bar known as the trend strength gauge. This tool visually represents the strength of the current trend. In a bullish market, the gauge is colored from white at the bottom to green at the top. There's also a small arrow indicating the current strength of the trend. If the arrow is at the lower part of the gauge, it suggests a weak bullish trend. However, as the trend strengthens, the arrow moves upward, eventually exiting the gauge when the trend is at its strongest. When trading with this indicator, it's ideal for the arrow to be at the top or outside the gauge, indicating a strong trend. If the arrow points toward the middle or lower part, it suggests a weaker trend, and you might want to avoid entering trades in such conditions. In a bearish market, the trend strength gauge shifts to a gradient from white to red. The arrow again moves upward as the trend intensifies, and when it exits the gauge, it signals the strongest bearish trend. In this case, you'd want to take short positions when the trend is at its strongest, as indicated by the arrow's position at the top or outside of the gauge. You'll also notice that the trend cloud itself has a gradient. In some areas, it appears darker, while in others, it gets lighter. The lighter the cloud, the stronger the trend. For instance, in lighter gray areas, the trend is much stronger, while darker areas suggest a weaker trend. Let's take a moment to check out the settings for this indicator. To do that, access the settings menu. Here, you can adjust parameters, such as the period, which controls the length of the indicator and the standard deviation, which affects the sensitivity of take profit signals. You can also modify the size of the trend strength gauge. I suggest keeping it at a balanced size of 25 for optimal display. You can also customize the indicator's color scheme. I prefer adjusting the green shade to a more vibrant color and tweaking the red shade to something less bright. For the length, changing it to 34 offers a better fit. Once all these settings are adjusted, click OK. Next, let's add another indicator called HHLL to complement the trend strength signals. After adding it, disable the fractals option, head to the style tab, and turn off the first two options along with the lower high and higher low settings. Now, you can use these indicators in combination to enhance your strategy, but remember, this is not a standalone trading strategy, so don't expect it to generate consistent profits without back testing. Um, 
It's simply a way to show how you can use the trend strength signals within your existing strategy. To take a long position, the first requirement is that the market must be in a bullish trend. Indicated by the price trading above the trend cloud and the majority of candles being green. Next, identify the most recent higher high and place a horizontal line there. When the price breaks and closes above this level, check the trend strength gauge. And should the pointer is at the top or outside of the gauge, indicating a strong trend. Once these conditions are met, take a long position, setting your stop loss below the most recent swing low and aiming for a take profit target of 1.5 times your risk. If you let the trade run, it's likely to be profitable. to take a short position the opposite applies first ensure the market is in a bearish trend with the price below the trend cloud and candles colored red identify the most recent lower low extend it to the right and wait for a breakout make sure the trend strength gauge shows the arrow pointing high or outside the gauge to confirm a strong bearish trend once confirmed take a short position Place the stop loss above the most recent swing high and set the take profit at 1.5 times your risk. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. This strategy is promising, but no strategy guarantees 100% success. Losses are always part of trading. Feel free to combine this with other strategies or indicators such as price action, smart money concepts, or ICD methods to refine it further. If you find ways to improve the setup, share your insights in the comments below. Uh, also, if you're into automating it into a bot with alerts, Make sure to watch the recommended video on your screen. And if you don't like it at all, I'm pretty sure the other recommended video is definitely what you're looking for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.